Hey everybody, it's Lo and welcome back to my channel, Lo Without Limits. Today is Saturday, February 16th, and I'm gonna be having a pretty chill Saturday doing a lot of errands, running to and from places, but I'm also going to Bulletproof Upgrade Labs at the Beverly Hilton. So if you wanna see my Saturday, then just keep watching. I know about Bulletproof and I know about its founder, Dave Asprey, and I also know that they had this like upgrade labs thing happening in Santa Monica, but I think it was a bit expensive and they also have like a Bulletproof cafe that you could go to in Santa Monica. And I've never made it over there, but I was listening to a podcast that's so retrograde and they had him on and he mentioned that he just opened up a new Bulletproof upgrade labs at the Beverly Hilton Hotel. So I figured I'll check it out. They have like a just opened deal that was going on so i'll be checking that out and hopefully i can bring you along with me if not with this camera then with my phone so i'm so excited and i'm running late let's go this on my phone so sorry if the audio quality isn't great but I just flipped I'm doing 40 minutes of red light therapy on this like bed thing so I just did 20 minutes lying on my other side and now I'm like gonna lay this way for another 20 minutes and it's like an amber red light therapy and it's supposed to help like collagen growth and muscles and I told her about my ankle that I injured a few weeks ago and she said that this will really really help it out by just boosting like the collagen and like the reducing inflammation in, like my muscles and everything so Hopefully this whole hour session really helps out with um, my ankle and everything. So I'm gonna do the last 20 minutes on this side and then I'm gonna do cryotherapy and if I have time, these like squeezy pant things. So hopefully all of that really helps out my ankle. when I'm back in my car, but they're like squeezing me. It's like a nice hug. I'm gonna sit really quickly. I'm just gonna slouch like this in my car so you can get my face in there. I don't wanna raise my camera up higher because there's just two people getting in the car directly across from me, so. I just finished, I had an hour session, but it actually ended up going to be like an hour 15 um, because of the last thing that I did so I did red light therapy for 40 minutes 20 minutes lying on my back and then 20 minutes lying on my front and then cryotherapy for like two minutes and you get to like choose a song just like off YouTube like whatever song you want so <laughs> she's like hey what song do you want to I was like oh whatever like just hit shuffle she's like well it's on YouTube so it's like really whatever you want to listen to and then I was just like oh the pressure is on so I just panicked and said Ariana Grande and she said okay like Seven Rings is the first one that came up is that cool and I was like yep let's go for it um so it was good because then it kind of helped me like when it did get super cold I was like okay well, we're in the middle of the song like we're getting through it now um so I was in there for about two minutes I started off at negative 150 degrees and then went down to negative 170 um a little below that when I got out but she said that that's good for beginners but other people can go all the way down to negative 220 or something which sounds insane because once I got to like 170 at that point I was like really shivering um but it, she was also like how did it feel like at 150 I honestly wasn't like oh this is cold like to me it was like oh this is how my apartment feels all the time because I just like always have my apartment freezing so really quickly I just like took little like screenshots and like notes of like what everything was just so I can really quickly go through the things that I did so first up the red light therapy they have it called red charger so it says harness the power of light the red charger exposes your entire body to 630 I don't know what the NM means and 880 infrared um, LED lights so it was just like a full bed I had my full body on it I'm pretty sure the like last part where I was laying on my chest because it went by a lot faster than it seen I was like 40 minutes is gonna be forever ended up not being that bad 
um, but I'm also pretty sure I dozed off at the end of it. Um, and it says that these two frequencies promote muscle recovery, decrease inflammation, and boost mitochondrial function. So I have heard a lot of things about red light therapy. Um, she also mentioned it boosts like, collagen, like the darker red boosts collagen and everything, and then the lighter red goes deeper. She described it like we're plants, so plants need the sun, and that sun goes deep into them for photosynthesis and for growth and for recovery. So that's basically what these, like this um, wavelength of the red light and the amber light does, is it goes beyond our surface, like our skin, and it's there's no UV light, so it's not damaging to our skin, but it goes beyond that and basically just heals and recovers our muscles the same way the sun does to plants. Which, speaking of plants, we're gonna get two more after this. Um, so when I mentioned that I had hurt my ankle a few weeks back, almost four weeks ago now, she said that this is really good because it will help just the inflammation and the muscle and like the muscles recover, especially where I have the two strains in my tendon. So I have two little strains that's what i saw on the ultrasound which by the way they have ultrasounds that are an ipad with like a little wand thing plugged in so that's the future the future is here the next thing that i did was cryotherapy so again it can go down to negative 220 degrees fahrenheit and it says that it increases fat burning <clears throat> boosts your immune system and causes your body to release endorphins this dude's looking at me hey, hey, so i do know that like super cold environments especially if you do like a hot cold shower it like boosts your metabolism which does trigger more fat burning properties and in in doing so it also just like you're kind of like jump starts your body and makes it um heal faster so again that's really good for my ankle and then i overheard one another guy talking to another client that basically like once you do cryotherapy your body's super responsive to everything that comes afterwards so after cryotherapy i did these squeezy pants and i felt like violet when she turns into a blueberry in Willy wonka and they're like violet you're turning violet come on dad let me finish yeah but your face is turning blue violet you're turning violet violet what are you talking about um so they zipped me up and it went like all the way almost like up to like my rib cage and it really helps drain the lymphatic system so any extra fluids it kind of goes down and then like pushes them up so it squeezes from like the top and down and it kept getting like really really tight and i didn't realize how tight it was going to get around my rib cage and i was like the first time it happened i was just like can't breathe and then it released um but it got really tight and honestly i love it it felt like a big hug so it felt really really nice especially after just being in cryotherapy which is freezing and then to have a nice warm leg hug was really comfortable um but it does because it pushes everything out of the lymphatic system and all like it drains your lymphatic system that um it's just removing all the extra fluids from your tissues so for me where i have the two strains are basically just like fluid buildup around my muscle there too so when i felt it squeeze on my ankle it's like yes get that fluid out of there um it also absorbs fatty acids and transportation of fat and more production of immune cells which is always good because you know flu season is always upon us so keeping that healthy and i left there i walked out of there grabbed a little snack because i'm hungry and i have to get groceries soon and i don't want to go to the grocery store starving um but i walked out of there like i changed put my leggings back on because for cryotherapy and for the squeezy pants i just put on like adidas like or under armor booty shorts um but i changed back into my leggings put my shoes and socks on and i literally just like walked out of there and i walked up the stairs and i was like oh my god like i can walk without feeling any pain at all so like already my ankle feels better when i was walking like from after the stairs to my car kind of um i did start getting like that pinchy feeling but like overall like the pain is just kind of in one spot now and it's mostly where those two strains are and kind of like the nerves there but i don't have like that nerve feeling like going up higher or going into my foot or making it like my foot cramp up and hard to walk and i really think that the cryotherapy probably really helped with like the nerves and like getting like all my muscles like ready and i really think the squeezy pants and getting that like inflammation and like the like the water and like the liquid from my inflammation in my ankle and pushing that out i think that really really helps so i'm really happy i got to do that as my third thing i did that for 25 minutes 
but and they didn't say this but i know this from just like having if you get like a lymphatic massage because they're like lymphatic has acid has like all like the poop and everything like gross in it you don't want that floating around your body and it's gonna make you super lethargic after the squeezy thing gonna drink a lot of water and we are going to go to get two viney plants for my apartment so that is a little chore that i've been needing to do for a minute now i also need a new monstera but when i went in december they were also everybody used to selling christmas trees so i'm gonna do that in march in the spring when it'll be easier to find a good healthy monstera so see ya at the plant place All right, just slouching again in my car. I just got my plants. I like to go to Mickey Hagarty plants or Hagarty, Hag I don't know. Um, it's on the corner of Fountain and Sycamore if you're in like the West Hollywood or around West Hollywood. It's pretty much where I've gotten all of my plants except for the ones that my friend Mary gave me when she moved to New York. So in my back seat, I have two pothos vines. One is going to replace the one that's hanging between my bed and my couch and the one on my counter near my like dish dryer thing I want to hang next to my fireplace so I need to get like something to hang it with I'll do that on Amazon and I said before I wasn't gonna get a Monstera because they're not available until March really and I found a mini one for $18 it's a little baby like nothing huge yet but I'm just gonna put it in there because it is in a small little pot so that I'll fit perfectly into the white one versus getting a bigger one in a month or whatever for double the price just for it to not fit in the pot and have to repot it so it would fit in the pot. So excited for that, excited for my two other plants. I did get another little pothos to replace the one next to my dish drying rack above my dishwasher. So since that one's gonna hang, I still want one there just cause I feel like it'll be so like naked there. So now I'm going to go get groceries. I'm gonna go to Sprouts since I'm in West Hollywood and I love Sprouts, it's my favorite. Um, okay, I'm excited and I'm gonna get stuff to meal prep and I also want to make some DIY granola that I will post a video of. So I just need some more like oatmeal and maple syrup and all the goodies. So I'll be getting all of that. Home and I'm gonna do a quick little grocery haul of what I got at Sprouts. So, first things first, eggs. I also got some more arugula. I have like half a box left, but it's my favorite leafy green, as I've said before. Some mushrooms. Um, I'll just have these like with dinner or something because I have chicken in the freezer. So my dinners can just be like mushrooms, some arugula, chicken, I don't know. I've been really, I was really like not motivated to do like think things like to get like a new idea of what to do for lunches and dinners this week. I was like, I don't really know. Um, didn't really make like a meal plan, which I usually do. So I was just like, I'm gonna go to Sprouts and just go for it and see what I want. And I have like different ideas, um, but nothing super exciting this week. I also got some more of these gluten-free breadcrumbs, some more gluten-free oats. These are just the Bob's Red Mill brand. I went with the bigger bag because I am making granola tomorrow for a video and I just like having oatmeal. And lately I've been taking oatmeal to work with some frozen berries in it and some protein powder to make it nice and chunky. And it's actually been like keeping me a lot more full during work to like sit down at my desk and have a breakfast versus just like coffee. And then I start snacking, 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 snacking. And then I finally eat my lunch and then it's like snacking, snacking. Um, so this, as I've been doing it, has actually kept me like really full in the morning and then I'll finally have like my good healthy lunch. Um, and I just feel a lot better about it and I'm not like mindlessly snacking because I'm like get hungry in the morning but I also don't want to have my lunch yet. So these have been really good. Some unsweetened vanilla almond milk, some more dates. I'll either do some date balls this week as a snack or I also just like snacking on these and then when it comes to making my date balls, I'm like, Oops, I'm all out because I ate them. I also got some turkey just for this weekend. I can have like turkey sandwiches or tuna sandwiches or something. I've also heard things about macadamia milk lately. I almost got a carton this size of it, but it was like $5. So I didn't want to do that, but they had this one and it's vanilla creamer, raw macadamias and coconut cream. It's the same brand though that had the 
other carton. Also a red bell pepper. I like red bell peppers because the brighter they are, it means it has more micronutrients. It just got kind of dark all of a sudden. Um, so I like having these all saute or just chop it up. And some ground turkey. These, this I think I'm just gonna make on the stove. And um, there's four servings of four ounces. So four ounces of meat is what I like to have with every meal, like four ounces of a protein. So this will be perfect since I don't have work on Monday to do for Tuesday through Friday to just grind this up. And I think I'm going to make like mashed sweet potatoes. So I'll do mashed sweet potatoes, some arugula, four ounces of ground turkey. And then I have a red onion here as well as some of the red bell pepper. So kind of like a taco bowl thing again, my usual. Um, I'll probably make like chickpeas with it as well. I just didn't, couldn't think of anything else. And usually for my taco bowls, I'll do like a bed of greens, usually arugula, all my sauteed veggies on top, and then chicken on top. So I figured this plus the mashed sweet potato at least will make it a little bit different. For lemons, they were two for a dollar, so I got four. Good for just teas, for waters. I also got four avocados. It was two for three dollars. They're kind of big, um, and only one of them like will probably be soft on Monday. So um, I can do like half with eggs in the morning or half with my lunch, half with dinner. So it'll be like one a day and just depends on like when I decide to use each half of the avocado. Also two big sweet potatoes. Um, I have another sweet potato here, so I'm just gonna mash these all together and separate it out into fourths and then that will be for my lunch. I also got a bag of blueberries. These just for my protein shakes after working out. Um, I'll just do blueberries, banana, protein powder, water. And then this is an organic berry medley. So it has strawberries, blueberries, raspberries, and blackberries. And this I like to add when I make my oatmeal, I make it with a little bit extra water, mix in my vanilla woman's breast protein, protein powder, mix in some of the almonds, and then I mix in some of these and it just kind of gives it an extra flavor. Throw a little bit of maple syrup on there. And it's always good to have like a little bite and then each bite will have one of these little berries. I also got three different uh, dairy-free yogurt. So this one is just a lactose-free one. So it's dairy, but it's lactose-free. Green Valley Creamery. And I got them all in, like plain or vanilla if they didn't have plain. Um, so it's just a low-fat yogurt. This one is Good Karma Dairy-Free Yogurt. And it's nut soy and dairy-free. And it's made with flax milk. 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 Flax milk. That was so hard to say. So got this one. And the last one I got is Nancy's Probiotic Oatmeal. Oat, oh my God, I can't say milk. Oat milk uh, yogurt. So this one's flavor is vanilla. These two are both vanilla. The other one is plain. Um, and then this one is made with oat milk. And I like that it has probiotics added in there. I was on the hunt for the GTS um, probiotic coconut yogurt because it's a bit thicker and is almost like a Greek yogurt consistency, which is the kind of consistency I like. I don't like a runny yogurt consistency and everything that is like a healthy Greek yogurt is Greek yogurt, so it is dairy. So I've been on the hunt for a non-dairy, like Greek yogurt density yogurt. So if you know where I can get one or a good brand, let me know. I'm gonna put it all away and then I'm gonna get my plants out of my car. They're still chilling in there and then deal with my plants before the sun goes all the way down just because I'm gonna go outside and I want bugs to be popping out at me. Ooh, ooh, and here are my babies. Welcome. I am so excited that these are home. Ta-da! That's pretty much my Saturday. If my ankle wasn't hurt, I would probably have gone to, woken up and gone to the gym. So I guess going to the Bulletproof thing was like my gym replacement for a Saturday. Because I usually at the same time have gone to the gym, worked out something. So nothing too exciting. My week is very like nine to five, but like longer job. And then working out when I can, I meal prep on the weekend. So anytime I do do something exciting, it is on the weekends. Because on the week, I'm pretty much just like work mode and when I'm not working on like my job job then I'm editing a video trying to do something for low without limits or just getting ahead of my life cleaning my apartment like cleaning and working out is my therapy so 
that's pretty much all I really do during the week. So this day was as exciting as it's gonna get in a day in the life. And thank you for watching. If you like it, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Comment down below what you like to do with your Saturdays, what I should do with my plants, or what you like to pick up at the grocery store for your meal preps. And while you're there, be sure to subscribe because I upload a new video every Wednesday. So until the next one, thank you for watching.